Hello, I'm Scott Brady with Expedition Portal and Overland Journal, and I am out here with an exciting new Mercedes. This is the all-electric Sprinter. So this vehicle has over 200 miles of range and a 2,600 pound payload. Okay, so there's a couple things to note about this vehicle. It's currently only available in the 170 inch wheelbase model, and it's also only available in rear wheel drive. But what's interesting is that motor drive unit in the rear, it's all right at the rear axle. So there is no prop shaft and the motor drive unit only weighs about 285 pounds. Now this is fairly conservative around power. We're used to EVs with these enormous torque numbers, but this actually comes in at just under 300 foot pounds of torque. There, there are two different motor variant options, but it's more than powerful enough to move this van down the road. But because of that, a lot of the weight is centralized due to the batteries and there's motors at the rear. So there's actually no prop shaft. So there's a lot of weight over that rear axle. So I was actually pretty impressed between the torque of the electric motors and the traction control, we were actually able to do quite a bit of these little back roads here in Prescott. So what's exciting about it is with this 113 kilowatt hour battery pack, they're actually getting upwards of 200 miles of range. Now, if you're not running at full payload, so that's the 9,000 plus pounds of gross vehicle weight rating, then you can actually get upwards of 250, even 270 miles of range, depending upon the terrain that you're traveling on. So it's not that 350 mile kind of range killer that we, we really try to look for in overland vehicles, but it's just enough range for you to be able to kind of make it from charger to charger. But this is what's cool about building out an electric vehicle as an RV. So if you were to set this up and you're going from campsite to campsite, most campsites have 220 volts at anywhere between 30 and 50 amps available at the campsite. So while you're camping out overnight, you're actually charging up your vehicle to travel the next day. So you can really take advantage of those power outlets that you have at the different campsites around the country. So, so far, this is a lot more spirited driving van than we normally experience with the diesel or the gasoline variant. So it feels like it has good acceleration. Uh, it's also so smooth because it's also not shifting. So the overall driving experience on the road is actually quite good. And I noticed when I first got into it that it actually has paddle shifters. And I'm thinking, what are these for? But I realized that they took advantage of those already being on the steering wheel. And they use it if you go into the minus mode on the paddle shift or what would normally be a downshift, it goes into max regen. And then if you click the right one, it now goes into regular drive mode. And then you can even click it one more time, which really loosens up the regen. So if you're just kind of coasting down a long road and you don't want the vehicle to be slowing down below the speed limit, you can actually adjust the amount of regen just using the paddle shifter. So that's really clever too. All of the driver interface is very consistent with the internal combustion engine sprinter. So if you're using this as a commercial vehicle, if you've got drivers without experience in the electric modes, they can just hop into it and go. It's gonna feel very natural to them uh, as a driving vehicle. I also really like the fact that it does have a rear view mirror. It's a clear view style rear view mirror. So you get a really good capture of the road, even when it's dark at night. And then it has a really good backup camera too, which you need on this length of van. Because of the low power of the motor, you actually get quite a bit more range. There are even some simulations that Mercedes has done around range uh, that's gotten things up over 300 miles of range, closer to 320 miles of range. So if you're driving a little slower or you're going lower on the payload scale, you're actually gonna start to get up into those lower range anxiety distances, which I think is very promising. Hopefully someday they actually make it available in a dual motor variant so you can actually end up with all wheel drive. That would be super awesome to have in an EV van. But just imagine building out this vehicle as an all electric overlander. The only thing that you need to really figure out is heating element that you could use that didn't take up too much power. But there's so much payload, you could load it up with lithium ion batteries. And if you had enough solar panels while you're out in camp, you could actually charge the vehicle as well. So this is a really an exciting time in the EV space to see Mercedes releasing the new all electric Sprinter.